What is up, everyone? I'm Jeff from Jeff Needs Sports, and this is the Off the Ball Network Week 7 NFL Power Rankings. What's going on, everyone? This is it's time. It's week seven. It's the NFL power rankings. Season's heating up. We got bye weeks. We got big games. We uh, we've we've, we've got um, contenders, pretenders, and the whole the whole deal. So this is the uh, week seven NFL power rankings. I'm glad to put it off, put it out for the network. But you know, it's it's a it's a group effort, and uh, so here we go. So this week, number one, uh, the Arizona Cardinals get back to number one with a. Uh, win over the Cleveland Browns and you know it's it's one of these things I don't know how well this win is going to age but basically what I said was you know all we heard all offseason was how good the Cleveland Browns are going to be how tough they were going to be you know a blue collar they were going to be the Arizona Cardinals this uh, team from out west you know this team from a dome all these things a five foot ten you know you know quarterback roll into the the eerie Lake Erie, um, you know, tundra and whip the Cleveland Browns on their turf with uh, with no advantages and, and walk away a six and O team. So you, you got to take it for what it is. As of now, I, I the Arizona Cardinals are the, the, the best team. I mean, you know, they beat the Rams. They beat Cleveland. They're undefeated. If it was that easy to be undefeated, more teams would be undefeated. So here we go. As of now, Arizona Cardinals number one. Uh, the Ravens, uh, they jump back up into the top eight, which I call my contenders this week, uh, with one of the most res- – one of the just solid victories of the season over the Los Angeles Chargers last week. You know, the Chargers I, I really think are for real. You know, I've got them at nine on here. Uh, they came in and just and just got their ass whooped from start to finish. Um, the Ravens took no prisoners. Lamar did his thing. He's on a He's on another MVP role. And it, it was one of the best victories of the season. They haven't looked perfect all year, but maybe, it, you know, there is something about this team that's just like, you know, we might be tougher than you. We might be better than you. It's 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 pretty impressive. So I got the Ravens, you know, climb back up to number seven. Uh, the Browns going the opposite way. Is it time to panic for the Browns? You know, everything in their favor. Once again, the opposite of the Cardinals. They got the Cardinals coming in. Let's show them how tough we are. Um, you know, let's run up and down the field on them. And if you're going to say, oh, Chubb was out, running game was down, Baker's hurt. Well, yeah, that's that's the product of what happens when you want to call yourself a tough, gutted out team and all, all these things. So uh, that might be a fly in the ointment of the Cleveland Browns is sometimes you beat yourself up along the way, too. So Cleveland Browns, I think. You know, going into Thursday night against Denver, ha- have some real soul searching to do, and the the they're they're on a, they're on the teeter totter. They're you know they're on a tipping point of the season. So, you know, it is what it is. So my don't sleep on this week, uh, the Minnesota Vikings, a really talented team from start to finish. Uh, they've they've give up. They they've lost bad games this year. They've won games they they should have lost. You know, they're they're right there at three and three. Uh, I, this is a team that when they're playing their best can beat anybody in the NFL, but they also are still making the silly mistakes and give up games that they ought to win. But my overall feeling is I don't think Chicago's great. We know Detroit's terrible in their division. They can still make things happen. Uh, if they figure it out, I think this is a team that can that can steal a seventh seed in the NFC. Uh, the Steelers, they, they basically just figure out who they are. They know They know exactly – they know exactly what they have in Ben. The defense is starting to, you know, to come around. This is a team with a plan. This is a team with good coaching. This is a team with a veteran quarterback who doesn't go in. They, they're they not going into any game thinking they're going to throw for 500 yards and outscore you. But uh, they're starting to figure it out. I think they can trip some teams up. I, I kind of call them a uh, – a parking a parking bumper, if you will. The, the teams are just going to trip over as the year goes on. But uh, I, I, this is a team that I thought could have just given it, given up and lost, you know, 13 games this year, but they, they're they apparently not. Uh, T.J. Watt's playing great. Uh, it, it, it's a team that's it's, – it's a stumbling block. They're, they're, they're the stumbling block, the division, as we see now, we – 
depending on how good you know the Bengals are, th- this is a team that could, could that could steal a seventh seed, and we'd all be uh, laughing at ourselves. Uh, who knows? But it is what it is. So um, the Colts, another team that don't sleep on. I know two wins is is nothing to bank on. They're in a terrible division. They're going to be able to steal some games. They're better than Jacksonville. They're way better than Houston. Ten- they're not near as good as Tennessee. But Wentz and Taylor, that combination is starting to figure it out on offense. They look a little healthier. You know, obviously, well, they have to look healthy. Anything Carson, anything Carson Wentz does healthy looks healthier than he has most of his career. No offense, but I'm just being honest. Uh, Taylor's looking great. They're starting to figure some things out. They should have had a win versus the Ravens. So we can imagine this team ought to be 500 right now, and I think they're playing like a 500 team. But – and the AFC, they, they've got through the really, really, really tough part of their schedule. And so it gets a little better from here. So once again, just like the Steelers, I can see them. They, they're going to be contending for a seventh seed uh, when we're down to the last three or four weeks of the season. So the uh, so our senior NFL analyst, uh, Couch Coach Live, uh participates with this with me. I bounce ideas off him or whatever. So his team's on the radar this week. Cincinnati Bengals at Baltimore. Now Cincinnati looks great. They're a fast team. They're having fun. Everybody's up on them. We thought that about San Diego last week. They go to Baltimore and get trounced. So it's Cincinnati at Baltimore this week. Let's find out what this team's made of. This is this is a game to where win or lose, we need to see how you handle the game, how you play the game, how you respond to to the game, things like that. So Cincinnati is on uh, coach's radar this week. And, you know, to be fair, like that, that's a game that I'm extremely interested in. Uh, Joe Burrow looks great. I, I love what Jamar Chase has done all year. So it's uh, that, that that's that's a that's a big game. And I'm happy for Cincinnati that they finally they have a big game again for the first time in a few years. Uh, Chiefs. He's looking at the Chiefs. Basically, he wants to know, are you back? Did you figure it out? The Chiefs at Titans, you know, is, uh, you know, is it um, everything, everything's cool? You know, the hangover's over. Or are, are you what you look like the first three weeks of the season? Does your defense look bad? The terrible matchup for Kansas City against Derrick Henry and the Titans. We'll see. It is uh, it is what it is. They, um, you know, Mahomes is deceptively having a really good season, even though it's just not what we thought was going to happen. You know, he's, you know, two years ago, we thought that he was going to, he was going to have, you know, 16, now 17 games a season of the best quarterback we've ever saw. Uh, you know, he's taken some he's taken some hits. He's went through some struggles. So this week, you know, coach is like, I, I need to, I need to know if Kansas City is legit or, you know, what what's going on. So definitely a game to focus on, especially with all the buys. Jeff's radar games. So this is a little different. You know, I always put all these teams on the clock. And if I've got a team that I don't know, like, where – where, where are you going to move in the rankings or whatever? I focus on a few games to see how you respond. So radar games, we just talked about it. Bengals at Ravens is huge. Um, are the Ravens – did the Ravens completely figure it out and they're going to squash the Bengals? Are the Bengals, you know, as good as they looked? You know, all these things. It's just, just a huge game in the AFC and obviously in the AFC North, especially with where, you know, with where Cleveland's, you know, in a little bit of turmoil right now. Uh, Chiefs and Titans also had that on there. Obvious, you know, you got you got two teams that are expected to do really good in the AFC. Whoever whoever wins this game is going to feel much better about themselves. Whoever loses uh, has got some soul searching to do, and they're going to, you know. So it's one of those it's one of those uh, do or die games. Uh, but coming off the big win against Buffalo, if Titans could, you know, you know, back that up with a big win over the Chiefs, I mean, my gosh, uh, they'd be in really good shape. Uh, I've got the Colts and 49ers. This is a game between two teams with a lot of potential. Uh, haven't really lived up to it yet. They both have two wins. You see, I still got the 49ers as 15th because I still think they could beat you up, and I still think they're a really good team. I've probably had them over-ranked all season, but then when I looked at the teams below them, I'm like, no, I think they can still beat them. Here's where we're going to find out. Whoever wins this game, I'm going to be like, okay, you figured it out. You're better. Whoever loses is going to have four losses already, and you know the season's – in a little bit of trouble, especially if it's the 49ers and that tough, tough NFC West. So who knows? Um, but that, but that's a game I'm uh, definitely, definitely focused on. So that's it. You know, you can see the rankings right there. You can go to, um, you know, go to off the ball network and see the rankings, see some uh, bigger questions. Uh, 
you know, follow us all on Twitter at Off the Ball uh, Network. You can follow me at jhunt 6 And, um, you know, we'll keep watching. They'll be out next week. It's been a pleasure. And uh, here we go.